So, I, I don't have to pay. I don't have to go to that. I'll just vote for President Nelly and they'll solve all my problems. No! No. But you know what else has to happen, though? This is Jamal. What else has to happen is you've got to have uh, candidates that are out there campaigning in communities of color like they are running for president themselves. Yeah. If you're running for city council, if you're running for the state legislature or Congress or Senate, you need to bring your but <laughs> down into the Stop community yeah. and, right, and start early. Don't wait till October. Don't wait till the end of September. You need to be there in, in January and February and keep showing up and keep coming back. Put some representatives in those communities. Have people there who can understand what the concerns are. And here's a novel idea. Don't just come and tell us what you're going to do. Ask people what they need. What is it that you need from your government? And then the politician's job is to say to you, okay, that's what you need. Here's what I'm going to do to help you solve your problem. Okay. It's not that hard. Yeah, it's not that hard at all. It's not that difficult. Live one, Frank in Chicago listening to us on uh, 1690 WVOM. Let's talk about the Democratic Party. Go ahead, uh, Frank. Yes, that's over to you, my brother. Yes, sir. That sister just got off the line. She said I'm my fault, and she was right, too. But you know something? We were saying something earlier about the face of the Democratic Party, which is important, but more so important, they need to do something to get a massive turnout. When I'm talking about, when I say the face of the party, I'm talking about the platform. If they still come out there wrong on that same 20th century platform, oh, both of us are we better than them, we're going to protect your Social Security, your Medicare, and your Medicaid. You know, that's going to get our cap peeled, you know what I'm saying? Because for one thing, in town hall meetings can do that. People ain't trying to hear that. That's showing we're still falling for the same okie doke. Keep them wrapped up and busy fighting, hold on to what they already accomplished. They ain't got time thinking nothing better, like guaranteed income, universal health care, free college, student government loan, complete forgiveness. If this country was all white, they would already have that. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, the flag out of Chicago. Uh, brother Jamal, I'll let the final word. I'll let you have the final word. Uh, well, I think that brother got got to a lot of it. Uh, we not only have to uh, do what it takes to win these elections, I also want to see us do what it takes to start to build economic power while Donald Trump is in office, including having our historically black colleges build incubators, tech incubators, so that they can make money for themselves with their students. And uh, that kind of entrepreneurship is what's going to give black people free. Yeah, the beat? The beat, DC .com. There you go. That's your... Uh, uh, online newsletter, check it out. By the way, Jamal Simmons, he's got the split. We have more guests coming in. Like I said, it's going to be flowing with guests here and there as we uh, head uh, down the road to the National Action Convention. Big dinner tonight. Take care, and we'll be right back after this. Don't go away.